Ford workers rejecting concessions that its competition already got from the United Auto Workers. Bloomberg's Michelle Steele is live at the New York Stock Exchange for us this morning with a look at that and also a look at today's trading. Good morning, Michelle. Hi, Rhonda. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, Ford workers playing hardball this morning. Workers at three Ford factories with more than 5,600 employees are rejecting concessions that the UAW actually already gave to Ford's competitors. 52% of workers at the Livonia transmission plant have turned the deal down. 92% of the workers at the Ford Escape factory in Claycomo, Missouri are rejecting it as well. A Plymouth parts factory also voted it down last Friday. Now, UAW Local 182 President Steve Zamurla, who endorsed the deal, says it was a tough sell in Livonia because the deal did not come with any promise of additional work. Now, the concessions, among other things, are calling for a six-year ban on strikes over wages and benefits as well as a pay freeze for new hires. Meantime, a GM plant in Delaware is getting a new owner. With the help of a U.S. loan, Fisker Automotive is buying a GM plant in Delaware to build plug-in hybrid cars. That's according to a person familiar with the plan. The project will create 2,000 jobs to produce about 100,000 cars a year. The White House says Vice President Joe Biden is going to be at the Delaware plant today to make the announcement. And some changes on the road ahead for the Honda Civic. Honda saying it's reviewing the design of its top selling model and plans to make it cheaper, lighter, air open this morning. Live at the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Michelle Steele, Bloomberg News, reporting for the local four. Back over to you guys in studio.